Hello, everyone. Hello. Alright, so. I recently got on this article on, uh, what's it called? Oh, oh, hold on. It's Apple News and, uh, Uh, it was about Jesus. And said he was woke. He would be accused of being woke and treat all others with respect and dignity. Is there something wrong with that? Hmm? Because it seems like you're saying there's something wrong with respect and dignity. It's disrespectful to treat people with respect. Is that what you're trying to say? Huh? Okay, uh... Let me read this article to you, and I'm going to explain to you what wokeness is. So, wokeness is... Hold on. Let me find it real quick. Let me go to this. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, and after, and before people disingenuously complain, what well, is disintegrating older people... It's actually pundits like Carter using terms like woke to insult voters under 45 that's disintegrating. So basically what they're trying to say is if if we do people, if we vote in people under 45, that's disrespectful. Well, yeah, on, on the contrary, yes, it is disrespectful on another term, yet it's not disrespectful. But I'm going to explain to you why that's disrespectful, why it's not, why it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful and respectful. I'm going to explain to you why that is. So, if you do it over 25, you would have to have the amount of experience to be voted into a Democratic or a Republican Party in order to be president. So, I want to say that over that limit, it would be disrespectful. But to in order to serve the respectful way, you would have to have the experience required to do it. Right? So if you want to talk about woke, you're talking about respect and order. But you're trying to say that Jesus would be accused of being woke. What is woke? Woke is when you respect all people. It doesn't matter who it is or how it is. It, I mean, it's... <laughs> you can just vote whoever you want to. It doesn't matter what age it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's respect. But, however, accusing somebody of being woke is like accusing some, somebody for respect, basically. Now, if you could basically vote anybody over under 25, it doesn't matter who it is, any age, and that experience you have can lead to a lot of problems in the state. And, and if you don't have the amount of experience to do so. So, what is it, basically? It would be the respectful thing to go under the age of 25. But under 45, I wouldn't say that would be, that wouldn't be okay. It would be okay. As long as it's over 25. It is possible to get enough experience to go for president over 25. It is possible. It's possible. But over 45, that's like your whole life wasted away. The whole life you could, you could have spent being president and making your life as it would be. Just like all the other presidents in the past did. But now they're making it seem like you can't be voted in unless you're over 45. So that makes people think that if, because that's not okay, then that makes you woke, right? Excuse me. So, let me explain this to you, okay? Let me explain this to you. Because I don't think you understand the concept of being woke in the first place. Because you want to accuse me of being woke, you want to accuse me of being disrespectful or respectful or respecting everybody, it doesn't matter who it is. If I want to respect everybody from who it is, then I wouldn't say that is considered woke. 
I would res- I would respect people by having enough experience to respect other people in the in the in the thing that I'm doing in the first place. It's like being a president. Being a president is a hard job. It's not easy. Especially being a king. It's the same thing. It's not easy. I know because I've I've had experience in that role of term. Some experience you just don't seem to understand because, well, I'm here. I'm 24 years old. I have my birthday. It was like a couple of days ago. And I was born in 1997. So that leads you to think that if I was truly a king, then I would have to be born a thousand years ago or 3,000 years ago or 2,000 years ago, you know? That's not possible, right? So that would be impossible for me to explain to you how that is. It would be. (laughs) Because I would never be able to explain to you how I know all this stuff, right? So, let me explain this to you. You need to stop accusing your own savior, or or I don't care who it is. You're not going to accuse anybody of being woke, because... You don't know what you're talking about, and you accuse people of things that you really don't know how to uh, to get. You, you just want to get under people's skin. That's the whole point. You want to get under people's skin. But you, you, I need you to understand that's not the right thing to do. But, you know, you people accuse people just to get under people's skin. That's the whole point I'm trying to make here. You don't accuse people because it's the right thing to do. You just do it to get under people's skin. And not only that, you're very judgmental and you're very condemning. Because not only that, you condemn people by judging people the way they shouldn't be judged. Or telling telling things about people that shouldn't be told. Now, if you want to talk about convicting, that's an entirely different thing. I'm not judging you. I'm just convicting you. And what I'm saying to you is you shouldn't do this and that. And you consider me a judgmental and condemning person, and I'm not. I'm simply implying you that you should do better in every single role that you have. In every single thing that you do. Because what you're doing right now, you have to understand the com- Complain. What you're doing is complaining right now. You're complaining. You're not advising that people are woke or people are this and that. You're complaining because you don't get your way. And that's just how it is, right? You cry like a little baby. You look like a little baby. You wear fucking diapers. And that's the thing, right? That's the thing. Your, your people... Your people, your uh, your presidencies, your all, all this stuff is corrupt because you people are complaining and sitting here creating a corrupt system by complaining. And if things don't go your way, you're trying to change it all up to make everything go your way when it's not supposed to. Because that's not how you create peace in this world. When you think it does, it really doesn't. You know what I mean? It just doesn't work. <laughs> So tell me, how many times have you tried that and it didn't work? Now, I want you to be real with me. Leave a comment below. Leave a leave whatever you want to below. Leave it below, please. All right? Can you do that for me, please? This is Fox News. So I understand that they are a Republican Party. And the thing about CNN and NBC... So, let me think about this. MSNBC. Well, we're talking about communist communist news networks. It's like CNN. Basically, all over it is communism. And communism is when they believe in something that shouldn't be as it is. Like, democracy. Democracy shouldn't even be there because democracy is... They people a lot of people have to do is ask for it. They don't have to have a a word of agenda. They don't have to have a, a, a authentic, authenticity. They don't have to confirm the law. All they have to do is say it, and then technically, Congress has to put it through. 
And if not everybody can agree on the same thing, then they won't do it. But that's the thing. When you're a Republican, you can't do that. A Republican, you have to... Everybody can agree with it, but also Congress has to agree with it as well. And the president also has to agree with it, but the president also can sign a law. Democracy is nothing like that. Nothing. Democracy is when you can just sit there and do whatever the fuck you want and just tell people whatever the fuck you want to tell them. And then when it happens, there's nothing you can do about it besides how read that, how read that, or vote a that president and then that's a Republican. And either way, that's the only way that's going to work. In order, if, if you want to take down the law, which they did with Obamacare, they did do that. They no certainly took out, took down Obamacare because that was unconstitutional. Now, most laws are unconstitutional because Democrats don't like to go against that. Democrats have to agree with the laws. The Democrats can't seem to take away the laws because every... Uh, out of the majority, there are more people that agree on the same thing other than people who don't agree on the same thing. So, technically the law cannot be uh, renounced as unconstitutional. It can't. So, if, if anything, I need you... I'm going to end this video. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to, leave a comment below or do whatever. You, if you have anything to tell me, let me know. Or uh, leave a like or do whatever you want to do. I don't really care, okay? Just do what you want. All right. Love you.